In this video, I want to give you a bit of an introduction to the MATLAB functions get and set, and also introduce you to the concepts of handles, in particular handles to graphical objects like figures and axes and so forth. So let's start by making a plot. So I'm going to plot some random numbers, let's say rand n, so normally distributed random numbers. And let's go for a 10 by, how about three matrix. So MATLAB is going to interpret this by assuming that the columns, so there's three columns, each with 10 rows. So MATLAB will assume that the columns are the important thing to plot. So it will generate three lines of 10 numbers each. And actually, let me show you what such a matrix would look like. So here's generally what it looks like. You can see there's 10 rows and three columns. So MATLAB interprets these matrices by default in terms of columns. So MATLAB sees three groupings here, and that's why you see three plots here. Okay, so the idea of the get function is that it allows us to access features of the plot here. So I can type get, and now we need an input into get. And the input should be the access to the thing that we are interested in. So the thing that we are interested in here is the properties of this axis. So this is the white part here. This is the axis that's embedded inside the figure. And of course, the figure is this larger gray window here. Okay, so the keyboard shortcut for the current axis is GCA, which stands for Get Current Axis. So now I can hit Enter, and you can see we get a bunch of results. And these are basically all the properties of this axis. So scrolling up to the top, there's a lot of them lots of properties. Most of these properties you will never really need to worry about. You can try changing these if you want. So the box style, camera position, this is more about if you have three-dimensional data then you can change the position of the camera if you like. And let's see, let me scroll down here to some things that you might want to change are font size or font weight, let's say if you want to make these numbers bold face or italics instead of normal. And there's some other ones and you will be introduced to more throughout this course and a little bit later in this video as well. Let's see, other ones that you might use often are the X tick and the Y tick. So here's the Y tick. So you can see this says Y tick minus three up to four and that corresponds exactly to the Y tick here. So minus three up to four. So now I've used get just with the current axis, and this gets me everything in the current axis. We can make this a little bit more selective by saying get current axis comma, and let's go back to the y tick. So I can say y tick, and now the result is not going to be every single property of the axis. Instead, the result is just going to be whatever is this property here. So this is the value that is associated with this property. The property is y tick. Okay, so that's get current axis. That's not the only graphical object that you can access. There's also get get current figure. Now, this is going to tell me properties of this figure. So not just the axis inside the figure, but the entire figure itself. So we have various properties like the units, these are by default in pixels, but you can specify the units of the figure to be in inches, for example. You can specify the units to be in proportion, so the entire width becomes a value of 1. And let's see, what else is there? There's color. So this is the background color, so this light grayish color. That is RGB code, so 94% red, 94% green, and 94% blue. Okay, so that's a quick introduction to get. I will say more about get in a minute when I talk about handles. The complement to the get function is called the set function. So the idea of get is it tells you what are the values associated with the different properties of a graphical object. And set allows you to change those properties. So let's go back to this y tick because we've been working out with this before. So previously I showed you the y tick by using get current access y tick. So what I'm going to do now is say set, and then again the first input is get current access, and then I say y tick, and now we need to 
enter pairs of inputs, and these are called property value pairs. So this is the property. So the property is the y tick. And what is the value that we want to input? How about we input minus 3, 0, 0.2, and then pi. OK, so this is a vector that I'm going to input. And it's associated with the property y tick. And let's see what happens here when I press Enter. OK, so you can see that the tick marks here on the y-axis changed. So it's minus 3, 0, 0.2, and pi, or at least some you know, reasonable approximation of pi. So this is for the tick. And another thing that you will often want to change is the line width. So this is a default line width of 0.5. And now let's set it to, for example, 10. Uh, right, so uh, actually line width refers to the current axis, which is this line around here. So all of the axis lines. I was momentarily thinking about the width of the lines themselves, not the axis. I will show you in a minute how to change that. Okay, so that's the idea of the set function. I guess I'll show you. Let me set this back because it looks a little awkward. We'll set that to 1. There's one more feature of the set function that I'll show you in this video. And that is going to be another property called lim. So the limits, we have the x-axis limit, the y-axis limit. If this is a three-dimensional plot, there's also the z-axis limit. And there's the color limit. So now I'm going to change the x limit. And let's say we don't need to show all of the data here. Instead, we only need to show these plots between, let's say, 3 and 6.5. So I'm going to say 3 and 6.5 here. And now that changes the x limit. So it goes from 3 up to 6.5. Now, the rest of the plot isn't actually lost. All of these lines are continuing here. They are still there. They still exist. However, MATLAB has zoomed in the figure, so we don't see what's out here. And I can show this to you by setting this to be larger. So let's say minus 3 to 16 and a half. And now you can see that the lines are all still there, so we haven't lost any information. And in fact, now there's all this white space in the beginning and at the end. OK, so that is a brief introduction to the set command. The last thing I want to show you is handles. Now, so far, I've been getting and setting things using basically just two default strings, so GCA for get current access or GCF for get current figure. There are many, many other possibilities. And to access these other possibilities and other components, other objects in the graphical space, you need to use handles. So what is a handle? A handle is like a pointer. It's essentially what this is. So the current axis is a pointer to this axis. Most plotting functions can give optional outputs, which are handles to those objects. So for example, let's see, now I'm going to type CLF to clear the figure. So I'm going to say plot H equals rand n and let's just make this for now let's make this a just a vector uh, oops so this has to be plot okay so now we plot some random numbers here in a line and i get an output of the plot function which is plot h so it's a handle and it's good practice to give your handles variable names that end with h that's a reminder to you that it's a handle Although I have to admit, I don't always follow that rule myself. OK, so plot h. So we can see that this is a handle. It's a handle to a line. And these are some of the properties. And now MATLAB is only showing here the most commonly used properties. But I'm going to click here to say show all properties. That's actually the same as saying get plot h. Now notice, previously I said get get current GCA or GCF. So now I'm replacing GCA with the plot handle. And now we see lots of properties. So one is the color. That's interesting. I'll show you what that does. There's the line style and the marker. Line width, this is actually the thing that I thought I was changing. So maybe I'll start with that. So now I'm going to say set. But now what is the thing we want to set? It's not the current axis. It is the plot handle. And the property, the feature of this plot that I want to change is the line width. And now let's set that to like 50, which is absolutely ginormous. It's way too big, but it just gives you a sense of the possibilities. 
Another thing I can change is the marker. So let's see, the marker is currently nothing. So I'm going to set this marker to be square. So now you can see that there are squares here. And now I'm going to make this marker bigger. So I'll say marker size is, let's go for 15. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that looks OK. And now I'll say marker face color. And we'll set this, how about yellow? And you know what? I kind of think this would look better if this was a circle instead of squares. All right. That line looks nice and cartoonish. I think that looks pretty good. Now you're probably wondering, how did I memorize all these things? So first of all, once you start working with the set command often, you will end up committing all these properties to memory. But before then, you can always just look through here and guess. So actually, this is the old one. So let me do this again, get plot h. So now you can see that the marker is a circle the marker face color is 110, so that corresponds to RGB values, so it's 100% red, 100% green, and 0% blue. So plot H is a handle to this plot object, which is this line here. You can also have handles to other things, so for example, I can have title H equals title of uh, my happy plot. So here I put a title on this plot, and let's see what we can access here. So get title h. And there's all sorts of properties that we can access here. So including the string, that's what I just did. And there's also going to be things like the font size. So let's change a few things here just to give you an idea. So I'm going to say set title h. So I'm going to change the string to my sad plot. No, 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 that's not good. My ultra happy plot. And then let's change the font size to, how about 40? Also ludicrously large. But you know, this is a very, very happy plot. And we should be proud of our very happy plot. All right, needless to say, there is a bajillion things that you can do with the get and set function. And there's much, much more to say about handles. However, if you were previously unfamiliar with these concepts, these functions, then you now have sufficient amount of knowledge to successfully complete the rest of this course.